welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reviewing this cutie right here. Not this kitty, but this kitty <laughs> sent to me from Zuri Hollywood. So if you want to see my thoughts and what I think, then just keep on watching. Perfect. I'm so excited this wig has not even come out yet and they were <laughs> nice enough to send your girl a wig to review. So we're going to go ahead and dive right on into it. Alright, so the wig that we're going to be reviewing today is called Flora. If y'all have watched my other video reviewing Rue, then you already know it's from the Barbie doll collection. They sent me Flora in the color Pink Berry, and girl, I am living for this color blend, so we're going to go ahead and open her right on up. This is what she looks like right in the box. I never really take the time to show you guys the info card, but this is what she looks like. Again, I got her in the color Pink Berry. Now, she is a lace front unit, and of course, you already know, she's synthetic and heat resistant. Okay, so we're getting some good quality fibers in her. I'm gonna go ahead and take off this net right here. And honey, you can just tell the color blend. Like, oh, I love when wigs have like a deep root but blends nicely into like a vibrant color because girl I'm living for it all right so I'm gonna go ahead and take this packaging off so you guys can get a better look at her and as you can see she comes with this nice little pre-styled accent braid like I said when I was reviewing Rue Zuri Hollywood made it easy if you do not know how to style your hair or if it's a last minute kind of like event or something like that where you just want to look cute and not put in any effort because girl they do it for you so um this is what she's looking like straight out the packaging let me show you the inside cap construction all right so we do have a side part with two combs as well as the comb in the back with the adjustable straps again the wefts are nice and neat and we do have a little bit of room to play with right here on the hairline. Okay, so I know you guys love those up close and personal HD shots. So this is a look at what the hairline looks like straight out of the box, no plucking, no anything. And what I can say is they're definitely getting better with making that hairline more natural. Again, baby hairs, as you can see, are just a little bit long for my liking, but that's such an easy fix. As for the density, they look very, very nice. All right, now a closer look at the braided detail. You can go ahead and detach this. I didn't show you guys when I reviewed Rue the other week, but um, this is what it looks like. You just go ahead and unsnap it, just like that. Slide it out. And it has two little clips. If you wanted to, you can continue this braid and snap it in the back of the head. Um, but if you're not into this, and if this is a deal breaker for you, it's removable. So that's a good thing about that. Now the knots on this unit aren't that visible. Um, I've definitely seen worse. But as for making the part look a little bit more natural, what I'm going to do is just flip this unit inside out. And I've applied a little bit of concealer and I'm just gonna apply this down the hairline. You could use powder if you wanted to um, make it a little bit cleaner and not as messy, but I like using a foundation just because I feel like it really hugs the knots and hides them and then it stays longer as well rather than using powder. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and blend this out and then I'm not going to really focus it too much on the front of the hairline um, around the perimeter, just more towards the parting space because the front of the hairline, you don't want a lot of makeup there. Um, and it just gets really messy. So I'm just gonna focus it right here on the parting space. And as you can see right here, 
it's already looking a lot more scalp like I'm gonna let this dry for just a little bit so that it doesn't smear and get all messy <laughs> but I will be right back all right so I finally have her on y'all she cute why you know this kind of looks like you have like like you a little spoiled you got a little attitude and you pop in bubble gum <laughs> um, but girl I actually really 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 like this I'm gonna go ahead and take the braid out because I kind of regret not doing that with Rue last time I when I reviewed her again Rue's the other wig that's also in this Barbie doll collection um, and if you want to check that video out click somewhere over here <laughs> um, but I'm gonna take this braid out just so we can see exactly how she's cut. Ooh, okay. She got some bangs, girl. She got some bangs. And volume. Like, why do I look so damn good right now? Um, what I'm going to do now uh, is I'm going to work on these baby hairs. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and slick them down. And then while I'm working on the baby hairs, we're going to go ahead and try to get some of these kinks out and make it flow really nice. Okay, so this is what she's looking like after I just have gotten done curling her, fixing some of those kinks. And girl, I think this looks so cute. Let me scoot back a little so y'all can see her in her glory. I am definitely living for it. I think this looks so, so good. One thing that I want to say about this unit is the color blend. It is so beautiful. I was definitely... I was blown away. I was seriously blown away. Obviously, by looking at the info card, I would have never guessed that the color blend on the colored units would be this beautiful because, of course, they're showcasing more of the natural type of finish, more of the, like, color 2 or 1B. Um, but... <laughs> <laughs> your girl was shook okay now another thing I do want to say that I love about this unit is the length um, I think this is really nice with the color being this bold and the length being you know around 16 inches definitely wearable during the daytime as well honey not just to the club <laughs> now the third thing I do want to mention is the curl pattern I don't know if it's just me, but the curls remind me of like an old like Hollywood type of glam. I am going to get a bigger barrel curler or probably just borrow lens, who knows. Um, but this one, it's a little too small. I really want these bangs to be nice, big, and loose just to kind of match how these ones are over here. But I mean, for getting those kinks out, it was not hard at all to do and also add some, you know, curls back into that if you decide not to wear the braid. So now, and the last thing that I like about this unit is the fact that it comes pre-styled, but you do have the option to like take it all down and do whatever you want with it because versatility is key okay <laughs> I know I get sick of the same thing every time but it's good to have this option especially if you're not good at styling hair to just go ahead and make it your own I do want to talk about the important parts of this unit especially if you are loving it on me but you're just not sure um, it does seem like it is going to have a little bit of a shedding issue just from brushing my hands through it um, I did get a couple fibers off um, however, I did cut baby hairs, I did cut lace, and I also brushed through it as well and I had some come out. So I'll know for sure within the next few days uh, or few times of me wearing it if it does indeed have a shedding issue or if it was just from when I was cutting it. Um, but as for running, running my brush through it in different areas, yes, there was a little bit of fibers that came out. Was it anything alarming? No, it was not. Honestly, to me, it seemed kind of normal to every other unit. Also, what I want to mention is tangling. So, 
I'm not exactly sure how she's gonna do with tangling. I know I keep looking. I'm not really looking at the camera, but I keep looking in the mirror because I just feel like at some point it may give you issue, issues tangling, but most likely not as bad as a longer synthetic unit. If you're looking for a synthetic unit that doesn't tangle, y'all please let me know because <laughs> I have yet to find one but other than all of that I just want to make sure I covered everything that you guys always ask me in the comments I am loving the texture of this unit it is slightly yakky and I'm also loving the luster on this unit because it's super 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 natural alright guys that is it for my final thoughts I had to get all of that out of the way just because I know you guys value my information <laughs> But if you guys are interested in checking out Flora, she does come out in the middle of November. She also comes in other specialty colors with a blue cyan type of look. And also another color called Taro, which from what I can tell from the picture, looks more like an iridescent pink to white kind of shift. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. We are almost to 1,000 subscribers. And y'all, yes! we doing a giveaway. So hit that subscribe button, hit that share, hit that thumbs up. Appreciate all y'all out there, and I'll see you in the next one.